of America, we, we welcome you to our prayer, praise, and worship service. We come here tonight to pray and to praise the Lord. We are praying for our sick and shut in. We are praying for our church as we stand in the midst of looking for a new pastor. We are praying for our country as we change leadership. We are just praying for a better day. Come with us. Worship with us. Be with us. We're going to start with our opening prayer by our assistant, Pastor Harris. Thanks.
Lord, we come at this time, Lord, to lift up the sick to you. Lord, the one that we know and those who we don't know. Those who have virus and other diseases. We ask you to touch their body in a special way. Pray for doctors and nurses and all the caregivers. We pray, Lord, that you will heal our bodies. We know that you are the healer. So we ask you to touch in a special way. Pray for those who have almost given up. But we know that you are able, Lord, to heal. All men of diseases. Lord, we ask you to touch in a special way. Special prayer for Sister Tina Ferguson today. Pray that you would touch her body, Lord. Pray for Sister Vera. Lord, we know that you know all about that condition. Pray for Sister Susan Coco. Pray for Sister Jeanette River. Pray for Nick Lillian. Nick and Jimmy Gladden. We pray for him this morning, this evening. Press prayer for Nick and Larry today. Pray for all those that we know about. Pray for the Hayden family. As you touch them in a special way. Pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless the bereaved families among us, those we know. Somebody that's being bereaved every day. So we ask, we ask you for your mercy, Lord, this day. We ask you to guide us as we go through this service. Help us, Lord, to remember that you're able. Help us to continue to have the faith in you. We know that you will bring us through. Because we trust you. We trust you for all our needs. All that our wants you do. Uh, some of our wants, Lord. The way you guide us now and direct us and keep us. Pray for your church everywhere. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
river. Like others, we must come down off this walk of life. Pray that you would meet us. Meet us down by the Jordan. And then, Lord, at the Jordan, shape your word as a vessel to bring us across the Jordan and the kingdom of Lord, on the other side, oh, Lord, on the other side, we, like others, will praise your name throughout ceaseless ages. He blessed our ass in Jesus' name with thanksgiving, I pray. Amen. out to thee, O oh Lord, because America has got issues. 
Well, right now, Lord, we have, a, we have an issue of a virus, uh, an issue of a pandemic that has sickened millions and killed over 400,000. Now, Lord, we, we trust the scientists and we, we will try the vaccine, but we put our faith in thee. And we know, Lord, that with a touch from me, we can end this plague. Father, I pray for the health and well-being of my family. And when I pray for my family, I pray for every family up under the sound of my voice. And every family in America, help us through this plague, O oh Lord. Touch us with thy healing spirit. Right now, Lord, uh, America has an issue with confusion and division. We are a confused and divided country. In my lifetime, I've never seen anything like this. But I know, Lord, that with a, a touch from me, yes. you, can, you, 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 can, you can uncloud a, a confused mind. Yes. You, you, you can bring peace to a troubled spirit. Yes. And so, Lord, we reach out to thee for America for a touch yes. from thee. As much as we are divided, Lord, we know that if you were to touch minds and to touch hearts and to soothe our, our, our angry spirits, we know then that many men would realize that we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, life, and justice for all. Be with us, Lord. Stand by us to know that if we walk within thy will, all things are possible. Lord, America has an issue with racism. Racism has been the, the, the cancer on the spirit of America for centuries. And right now, there are people in this country who believe that if you aren't the same color as them, then your vote shouldn't count and your life don't matter. Oh, but, but right now, we call on thee. To let know that all men are created. Be with us, Father. Stand by us and help us to see the world the way you designed it to be and not what we want. Be with us, Lord. Stand by us, Lord. Help us to transcend the confusion and the, and the anger and the stupidity of man. To turn over a new leaf. Be with us, Lord. Stand by us, Master. Bless our country. Help us to move forward. Help us to move past the plague. Help us to move past the confusion. Help us to move past our own desires. Lord, America has other issues and other concerns. But I'm going to ask you to see us through them all. And I pray, Lord, I pray that every American will simply choose to make her America a better place by simply saying to themselves, I'm going to be a blessing to someone tomorrow. Let us all reach out to make this a better place, a better world. Bless our new leader, Lord. Bless Joe Biden. Bless Kamala Harris. Bless them as they take on a formidable task of leading us to a brighter day. Dear Lord, I pray for this country and I pray for the world. And ask that you be with us, stand by us and guide us and keep us in thy palm. These are the blessings we ask in sweet Jesus' name.
come once again, thanking you for another day. A day you have made and a day for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. We thank you, Father, for your mercy and your grace that you have promised us each and every day, Father. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to just ask for forgiveness for all our many sins, Father. Yeah. Father, you said your people are called by your name, Father. Or humble themselves, Father. And, and, and pray, Father. And then turn from their wicked ways, Father. That you would that you would you would heal their land, Father. So I'm asking you right now to touch Father in a special, special way. You know all our situations and our circumstances, Father. You say we're just two touching and agreeing. So we have touched on each and everything that we have prayed on tonight, Father. And we're asking for a special blessing, Father. We ask that you touch this church. We ask that you bless the sick and shut in, not just here, but all over the land, Lord. We thanking you, Father, for you being the same yesterday, today, and forever. We're thanking you, Father, for the promises that you made that you would never fail us or forsake us, Lord. Father, we thanking you, Father, for just for your love. We thanking you, Father, for the strongholds that will be broken, Lord. We're asking you to bless now, Father, for us a pastor, Father. You said that you would give us a pastor unto your own heart, Lord. You said, Father, that, that he would give us understanding and knowledge, Lord. Now I'm asking, Father, for that pastor that you have promised us, Father, that you will send, Lord. And I'm thanking you in advance for it already, Lord, for it's already done, Father. Now I'm thanking you, Father, just for this country, Father. Blessing and all the things that are going on, not by might, not by power, Father, but by your spirit, Father. And we're thanking you for your spirit today, Lord. We're thanking you for the understanding that, that passes all understanding, the peace that passes understanding, Lord. We're thanking you for it right now, Father. You said, Father, that you were saying yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. If our Alpha and Omega, you are the beginning and the end, Lord. And we're thanking you for all of those things that you promised that we may endure for night, but joy does come in the morning. And we're thanking you for the morning, Father. You said that no evil should bestow us, Father. No plague. So it has already been spoken in your word, Father. It has been promised to us, Lord. And we're thanking you for it. I'm asking that you bless the households today, Father. I'm asking that you bless our youth, Father. Not just mine, but I'm asking that you touch each and every one all over this land, Lord. I'm thanking you, Father. I, 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 I stand on the word that you have promised us, Father. And I, and I, and I, and I trust it with all my heart, soul, mind, body, and strength, Lord. So I thank you today, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the wisdom and the knowledge, Father. I thank you for the direction. I thank you for order and steps, Lord. I thank you, Father, just for this country and putting all of your love, that love covers a multitude of sin. So we're thanking you right now for your love, Father. We're thanking you, Father, for just being you all by yourself, Father. We thank you for the healing, Lord. We thank you, Father, just for just for the door being open and giving us the opportunity just to save your name. And we thank you today. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the cross, Father. We thank you for the blood, Father. And we thank you for the stripes that bring healing, Lord. We thank you today, Father, and we give you all the praises. It is already done, because this is your word, Father. So we thank you right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.